to do analysis on that, but these simple games sometimes you can learn something from them as well. Let's just have a look. And so we attacked here. It is quite menacing when you get the box shape with the pawns. And for my selection, it was a matter of, well, okay. If he takes here, then obviously I can take the queen. But if I'd gone the other way and taken here, it gives them more options to drop either onto our knight. Our knight's got the dance, or they can take here, which is a lot simpler. But it gives them more options, I think, going that way. I don't know if the computer agreed then, did it? So plus two, yeah, plus 2.4. And if we went the other way, it dropped. Yeah, so it dropped two points. So that was a key thing for me. What was the interaction afterwards? Because um, there's always going to be some sort of pressure on the knight. But if I can get the option of getting the queen off the board, unsettling their king, giving us the 20 pointer uh, in our virtual world, um, to say, well, at least their king can't castle now. So that's like my version of, right, that's a high scoring thing. If their king can't castle, they've lost tempo as well. Uh, so then they're going to have to jostle around, finding a space for the king to get castled. So again, losing more tempo. So it's a key thing, really, in the selection of the pawns. When it's a box shape type thing, especially in the centre, when you've still got the queens on the board. So we captured, then we took, so as we said now, so from here, basically looking to challenge. It's saying that there's a better move, knight g5. What's that about? But is that not where we went? That's just saying knight g5, but uh, it drops down two points when you go there. Have I, have I not gone to the right place? g5? Yeah. Yeah, so key idea was, yeah, that's nice to have, but if that gets defended, then we can take this pawn here. Right, so then they brought the bishops, which allows us to go for the higher piece, which is the rook. Again, it does like material gain in terms of its costings, uh, not necessarily position, really. In the early part of the game, especially, if you're just whipping pieces off the board, then it's like, whoa, yes, you're winning, you're winning. But if those position, if your position of your piece isn't any good and you've got them all on the back, you're not really winning, are you? Anyway. So we captured and that's pretty straightforward. I think the lesson to keep learning and refreshing is this box shape thing in the centre of the board. Yeah. Or any other place that you usually is the centre of the board where you kind of see the box shape. And the selection of which one to take, if you were considering taking, really is around what is behind the pawn that has done the capturing. Is it going to give you a bit more benefit? Nice little lesson for myself there again.